Hello students, in this class of ours we are going to study uh, the images formed by convex mirrors. The here is images formed by convex mirrors. Before this we have studied the images formed by concave mirror. So in this mirror the images will be formed only at two spots or two places irrespective of the place where you keep the object. So for five positions there is one position five positions of concave mirror. The one position is when the object is kept between pole, between pole and the infinity. So between pole and infinity. This corresponds to five positions of concave mirror. That is one is between pole and focus, another is at focus, third is between C and F, that is center of curvature and focus and fourth is at C and fifth is beyond C. Beyond C. One position when we say in case of convex mirror that is object is to be kept between pole and infinity, this one position infinity, this one position corresponds to these five. One, two, three, four, five. That when object is kept in case of concave mirror. When object is kept between pole and focus, at focus, between C and F, center of curvature and focus, and this is at center of curvature and this is beyond C. These five positions are combined in one position. So then the image will be formed between pole and focus. It is formed behind the mirror. Light rays actually do not reach behind the mirror, they only appear to meet. The rules obtained, uh, rules which are obtained for in obtaining the image, the rules used are the one light ray approaches the center of curvature, undoubtedly it will be reflected back along the same path. This we have seen in detail while studying the rules. And another one that is parallel to principal axis, parallel to principal axis will appear to be diverging from principal focus. So when you uh, produce them backward, they intersect at a point which is lying between pole and focus. This could be made by using these two rules. Also, this could be made by using this rule that one ray is parallel. After reflection, it will appear to be diverging from principal focus. One is incident onto the mirror obliquely. It will be reflected back obliquely in such a way that angle of incidence is angle to of reflection. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And you can see here, the object is anywhere between pole and infinity. The image will be formed between pole and principal focus it will be virtually direct, undoubtedly virtually direct because this image is formed when the light rays only are appearing to meet, they are not actually meeting and the size is diminished. Let me tell you a convex mirror can never make a magnified or equal size image. The size of the image will always be less than the size of object irrespective of where you keep the object. Second position is at infinity, we have seen two ways of making this in all this also we will see two of making the image. One is when the light rays are parallel to each other and also they are parallel to principal focus. They are parallel to principal focus. Both of them will appear to be diverging from principal focus after reflection. They will not really meet at focus. They will appear to meet at this point when produced backward. So this is also a virtual and direct image. This we will see later. And another case is when you bring them parallel to each other, not to principal axis. One will, law will be followed that in uh, an incident ray that is incident obliquely will be reflected back obliquely in such a way that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal. And another one was this, so another one is uh, parallel to the this ray, it is diverging mirror, so it will be reflected back in this fashion. When you produce them, they will be meeting at focus. So object is at infinity, image is at principal focus, nature is virtually direct. Here again the light rays are not actually meeting, they are only appearing to meet. So it is virtual, if it is virtual it has to be erect, erect means upright, the right side of the object is right side image and size is highly diminished. So this was all about images formed by convex mirrors.